name is Kathleen Baumgartner, and I am the co-founder of FOCO Cafe. FOCO Cafe stands for Feeding Our Community Ourselves. We're located at 225 Maple Street in Old Town Fort Collins, between Mason and Howes. FOCO Cafe is a non-profit restaurant. We are a cafe where you can walk in and pay what you can, pay what you'd normally pay for a comparable meal, pay it forward so others might eat, or make your contribution with time and talent and volunteer. We know that the site used to be the Haston Oil Company, and there are definitely um, historic pieces of the building that give you hints. There's a track on the back of our dock out here that we use for outdoor seating that looks like ro oil drums used to be ro rolled up and down. And then there are old oil drum racks, one of which we actually had an Eagle Scout build a garden box around so that it doesn't touch the oil drum rack and the soil doesn't either. And so we're able to grow food from within this old historic um, piece of equipment. But it's really fun to, to just see the, the history in the building every day. We use the um, ground floor, floor level of the cafe for uh, our kitchen, our restroom, and our dining area. Um, it's a wonderful historic space. Um, we use the downstairs for a small office, our volunteer check-in space, and storage. The interior of the cafe features these beautiful white, black, and red oak tongue and groove hardwood floors. That was a complete surprise to us. The, ca the, uh, the building had been empty for five to six years prior to us moving in and the floors were literally black. We had no idea what to expect and they are just gorgeous now. We use some corrugated metal in the front of our serving area and that metal was found in an old barn in the, in the Poudre Canyon. So trying to keep that kind of industrial feel that the Haston Oil Company had. People would think now that they were from the building originally. It's really quite amazing. We worked very closely with historic preservation on um, the building itself and making sure because we had never done anything like this before and we needed a lot of support. So they helped us a lot along with the county health department in making sure that what we were doing was um, exactly what it needed to be. So we were able to work with the county and historic preservation to make sure that we had the equipment that we needed and it complied with all code and it was safe for the building too. We've had the opportunity to visit several other nonprofit cafes around the country and it's been interesting to me to see how many of these cafes are in historic buildings that have then been rehabbed or, or restored into their beauty and I think that's an amazing accomplishment for a community, not only from the social aspect, from the, but from the historic preservation aspect as well.